you know, is we were on uh, QRF that night, and which is a uh, quick reaction force. When you do change over with off going QRF, we're ongoing. Um, you're supposed to fill up the trucks. You have three days of food, three days of water in the trucks. Um, make sure you have ammo, all that good stuff. I remember they came back. I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't remember what they were doing, but they came back so late. Uh, we we're like, well, let's hit it up in the morning, right? Right. I went that night. I was on the phone because by the time we were, we were getting ready to leave, I think the next month. So they had a phone center there, got done on the phone, came back to our hooch, which is where we sleep for those who don't know and laid down. And I remember, I don't, I, th I thought I was talking to Rob, but I don't remember who it was. And I was talking to somebody and, and I heard this explosion and it wasn't just an explosion. It was like, you could, f I could feel it in my, like my diaphragm, you know, it was so deep. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, someone's going to come running in here. And, and then, uh, yeah, we got the call for QRF up and you know, it, it's those mixed emotions of you're kind of excited. Um, cause you don't know what the situation is obviously. Right. Well, obviously somebody's hurt because there's an explosion. We're headed out there. It's blackout. We got MVGs on so you, your drones pumping. And then, um, you know, we get to the crash site and, <clears throat> you know, it's just sights, sights, sounds, smells, all kinds of stuff that you just, you never forget and you hope you never see ever again. Thank you for joining us. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.